But we're learning about plans now in the works to upgrade 30 U.S. land ports of entry for the future, including several right here at home. Jack Thurston has the story. At the Swanton House of Pizza. What can I get for you, hon? Miranda Martin misses her Canadian customers. Give me 20 and I'll have They're to. still not allowed to drive into the U.S. for leisure trips. Swanton's just a few miles south of Canada. We have a good amount of them that say that our pizza is probably by far their favorite, so. So the ongoing closure? It's hit us. Canada is allowing visits from fully vaccinated Americans, but the U.S. is not doing the same. Month after month, Homeland Security has extended restrictions on tourist travel by car from Canada, now through at least September 21st. Commerce considered essential is allowed. The sooner we open it, the better. Senator Patrick Leahy has plans to meet this week with other senators about the policy, which started at the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. And now the Delta variant has created another enormous problem. Leahy was at the border Wednesday with the head of the General Services Administration, announcing five ports of entry in Vermont are set for $285 million in upgrades under the bipartisan infrastructure bill making its way through Congress. We have this rare opportunity to do something really big. GSA Administrator Robin Carnahan saying the Vermont improvements will be part of a multi-billion dollar package for 30 spots around the country. In Highgate, plans call for a completely new and green facility, able to meet a highway expansion Canada is working on that could mean a 30% increase in crossings here. There's going to be significantly more traffic coming into Vermont, and I think that's a very good thing, but we've got to be prepared for it. Obviously, these are mission-critical facilities. They're gateways for people and for commerce. Uh, we need to make sure they're secure and efficient uh, and functional. Back in Swanton, Miranda Martin's glad to know long-term thinking's underway at the border, though it's the short term that worries her. When will the Canadians return? So our business can get back to normal. In Swanton, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News. Now, the GSA said today it may take up to a year to finalize the design for the new I-89 Highgate port of entry. It's one of seven across our region slated for improvements. You can see the list there runs from Alberg Springs all the way to Norton in Vermont, along with Rouse's Point and Trout River ports of entry in northern New York.